Hey, I'm Peggy Whitson. Um, I am an astronaut. I worked for NASA for many years, and now I work for a commercial company, Axiom Space. And I've flown in space three times with NASA and one time with Axiom Space. I have more time in space than any other American with 675 days. I was the first female commander of the International Space Station twice. Now I've always dreamed of being an astronaut since I was nine years old because of the moon landing but uh, it wasn't until they selected female astronauts and that was when my dream became a goal. And I was actually rejected four times every two years <laughs> over the course of 10 years before I was lucky enough to be selected as an astronaut. When you get into space though, there, a lot of things happen to your body. Without gravity, here on the ground, an osteoporotic woman might lose 1% of her bone mass in a year. In space, because we don't have gravity, we can lose up to 1% of bone mass a month. And so it's really highly incentivizing to work out. I've done 10 spacewalks in my career so far, and it has uh, been the most satisfying, but the most physically challenging uh, part of the job. And those spacewalks last anywhere from six to eight hours and that's working against uh, the pressure of the suit. The pressure protects our bodies, but it makes every motion very difficult. It's, it's, you're exhausted by the time you get done. Uh, the recovery process does take some time, especially after a long duration mission. Uh, we do a 45 day reconditioning where we're retraining, not the big muscles, but all the muscles, the small ones that you can't really use in space. All those that are required for coordination, they, they've taken a vacation <laughs> and you gotta reteach them how to work again and uh, so I, f I feel particularly uncoordinated after I come back from space flight. Yeah, so I first came to RMI in 2022 and I had a lot of orthopedic issues because of all the training that we do for uh, being on orbit and doing the spacewalks and I had knee problems, hip problems, shoulder problems, elbow problems <laughs> and I've had uh, orthopedic treatments in almost all of those places now. <laughs> Uh, and I, I've been very impressed with the positive outcome of that. I've also been really positively impressed with the functional medicine part of uh, what RMI is doing. Uh, for me, I had a lot of issues with my gut and I, I, you know, obviously it's a very important part of your body and, and affects how you feel and how you can train even. And I really feel that I am in much better shape and much better condition uh, with all of those treatments. So I can exercise uh, the way I used to 10 or 15 years ago, which was pretty dramatic. I had gotten just slowly over time, the joints had gotten so bad that I was not able to exercise uh, as hard and as long as I, I can again now, which is it's really fulfilling to me uh, to feel like I can do so much more now. But what I really think is extremely important is I want the quality of my life to be good. I want to be able to do these exercises. I want to be able to maintain my mental and physical capabilities for as long as possible because yes, I would love to fly in space again because that is it's addictive. <laughs>